All right, now so for our next recipe, we're gonna get into the meat of our meal today. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. And we're gonna do some vegetable tempura. Cool. We're gonna have some asparagus, so we'll just have the tender tops. We're gonna have some green beans, and we just want to pull off the stem end. Get rid of that. Make some bell pepper sticks. I'm gonna start by slicing off the bottom. Tip it back up and now it's gonna be nice and stable. And we can just come and slice off the side, cut these down into some nice sticks. So we're gonna start off with asparagus. Mm -hmm. We have some salted boiling water right over here. Right. And we're gonna throw these on in and cook them just for a few minutes. New way to think of boiling water, veggie spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is just gonna take a couple minutes. Great. Now they're ready. So we're gonna pull them out with our little okay. strainer here. So I like to just to take them out into a bowl. Okay. And now we're gonna do the beans. Same procedure. You wanna get the water back up to boiling. And then we're gonna throw in the beans. And then, oh, look, Excellent. they're having fun too, just like the asparagus. Yeah, that terminology great. makes me feel better about this process. Yeah. And actually, you can give yeah. yourself a facial. <laughs> oh, excellent. You know? cool. We're gonna pull them out with our strainer again, put them right off Excellent. on top of the asparagus. So now that we're done blanching, it's time to get into making our batter. Mm -hmm. When we're doing batters, we're gonna have to whisk. Now you're in the big boys club, so you know how to blanch, you know how to cut things right. up. Now you need to learn Whoa. how to whisk. Whoa, hey, easy there, slow down. Okay, I guess we'll start you off with a starter guy. <laughs> All right, where we go? I feel I'll safer. Get rid of this. So for the tempura batter, it's really, really simple. Yep. We're gonna start off by taking an egg, egg, cracking that guy in here, oh. and whisking it up just a little bit to break the yolk into the white. And then can you start whisking? Sure. And I'm gonna pour in Ready? some ice water. Easy way to think about tempura batter, even though there's lots of different recipes, you could always do a one to one to one. So we can have one egg, one cup ice water, and then we're going to sift in one cup of flour. All right. And sift that around. Okay. We want to make sure to sift the flour so that we don't get those notorious lumps that sometimes sift. happen. Well, did you see that? I didn't. That was really good, man. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is looking pretty good. Okay. So keep on whisking, and I'm gonna sprinkle in some black sesame seed. Oh, exotic. And put a little pinch of right. salt, enhance the flavor. Excellent. And then that's pretty much ready to go. So I'm just gonna whisk and put a batter back together a little bit more. And then you wanna take some of the bell peppers, yep. and I'm gonna take some of the beans, Throw it into the batter, oh. just throw them on in. Okay. Some of the asparagus. Alright. And we're gonna take <laughs> that and pop that right on in. Okay. If you throw it in like this in the clumps, it's gonna kinda stay in a clump. If you throw them in little individuals, they'll go in and be like little individual fries. Mm -hmm. yeah, look at that monster of a tempo. Here we go. Out looking. onto our rack. Again, with the paper towel underneath, so the paper towel will absorb the oil. But since this is on the cooling rack, it's not gonna steam and get all soggy. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna wanna do in between our batches is all this extra floating batter. The batter babies. The batter babies. We're gonna get those out so they don't burn and give an off flavor to the oil. Go. And now we have to look at maybe making a little bit of a dipping sauce to go yeah. along with our tempura. Of course. Some nice bright acidity out of our vinegar, sesame oil, chili oil, and soy sauce. Mm -hmm. So William, if you wanna start whisking, I'm just gonna start pouring. So depending on the flavors that you like, more or less of each of these ingredients. Just tinker around with what flavors you like more. Do you want it more salty, more hot, more toasty, or more acidic? And voila, we have a sauce ready to go. Beautiful. Nice job, dude. Let's try it. Let's do it. The Hippie Gourmet is brought to you by The Hippie Gourmet's Quick and Simple Cookbook for Healthy Eating. Available in stores wherever books are sold.